Hey y'all, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I pray blessings upon you for the week um, that's coming up and whatever you have planned and and whatever God has planned for you. It's going to be best because when you stick with him, it's always the best thing. So I want to tell you about three things that I learned this weekend. I learned a lot this weekend, but three things that really stick out. One, life is short. Two, um, hearing is the last to go. And three, live an impactful life. So without giving much detail, let's just talk about those highlights right there. I've got some Bible verses I want to tell you about and read with you because one, life is short. We've had many instances in our life that um, kind of grip us to remind us that we don't know what tomorrow may bring. And you've got to treasure each moment in your life. So whatever situation you're going through, remember that life is short. And in James 4, 14, this is from the New Living Translation. It says, how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It is here for a while, then it's gone. So treasure each day, y'all live each moment. The second thing was when the hearing is the last to go, I was telling my cousin about the experience that we had had with the reminder of life is short. And my cousin had been through so much because in the past couple of years, she had lost her husband and she was the one that was having to resuscitate him until the, um, the paramedics got there, even after he was he was gone and she was still having to go through this. But she said that she learned afterwards that hearing is the last to go. And so my cousin was like, if I knew that hearing was the last to go, I would have just kept speaking and speaking and speaking so much in to her, to her husband. So I remember a song by John Mayer that my husband said that we had to have played at uh, my father-in-law's funeral was Say What You Need to Say. And, and that song has great meaning for us because yes, because life is short, lessons we've learned in life, you wanna make sure that you say what you need to say to people and say it with grace and love and honesty and truth. So in Proverbs 18, 20, from the Easy Read version, it says, your words can be as satisfying as fruit, as pleasing as the food that fills your stomach. So say what you need to say. You know, say I love you every day to those people that you are treasuring, um, whether it's a text, but y'all hearing is the last to go. So we wanna make sure that you pick up that phone call or see that person face to face and, and, um, and tell them what you need to say and say it in love and be honest and sincere. And we need to, thinking about that, we need to make sure not only say I love you, but forgive. We need to make sure that we forgive because if we don't forgive, we're not going to be forgiven. So say what you need to say and say what you need to say to God too and make sure that your heart is right with God and don't be ashamed of him because he won't be ashamed of you if you're not ashamed of him. And then the final part was to live an impactful life. So in Sunday school yesterday, um, our Sunday school teacher was talking about, I believe it was from 2 Thessalonians, but he was um, within the lesson, it was talking about being impactful. And I thought about um, my family member that had this scare for us, that reminding us that life is short, that I told them that they are an impactful person. Because whenever we saw the people that knew what was going on, when we saw them later, they, you know, they clapped and, and they came to this person and um, welcomed him. Not just because in my mind, because that was their friend, but because they know what an impactful person this person is to others around them. So in 1 Peter 2.12, in the easy read version, it says, people who don't believe all are living, people who don't believe are living all around you. They may say that you're doing wrong. Here's what I want you to hear though, really. So live such good lives that they will see the good you do. I'm not talking about just those who don't believe. I'm talking about everyone. God says that, you know, live such good lives that they will see the good you do and that they will give glory to God on the day that he comes. So 
whatever you do in life, people are going to talk, people are going to talk. But if you live and you do and you say the life that is a godly life and that is the right and holy life that you need to live, people really can't say anything bad about you. So live that kind of life. So in 2 Thessalonians 2.15, to round this up, there's two versions I want to just read. And, and it's not even the first part of the verse 15, and it's not even the last part. It's just tucked in the middle. It's reminding you to stand firm and to keep a strong grip on the teaching. That's from the New Living Translation. Believer, stand strong in your faith. Live that impactful life. Remember to treasure each moment because life is short and say what you need to say. And then in the other translation was the message translation. It says, so friends, take a firm stand. Feet on the ground and head high. Keep a tight grip on what you were taught. What are you talking about what you were taught? Go back and grab this book right here, your Bible. Get into the Word. Turn those pages. That is the most beautiful sound to hear. And make sure that you learn from the life instruction book. So I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful week ahead. Ponder on those three things. That life is short. Say what you need to say because hearing is the last to go, and live an impactful life. How are you going to do that this week? Have a wonderful day, and thank you for joining me on SoakingUpTheSun.com. Take care. Bye.